So I picked up this quad about a year ago, and I was going to throw an engine on it, but nothing ever happened. It just kind of sat there. I also have these Nerf bars for it, and this Predator Hemi. And this thing's got all the billet parts, billet rod, billet flywheel. I think it has a Mod 2 cam, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to throw it on here, and I think it'll be a pretty good engine for this. I'll probably throw a torque converter on it too, a driver driven. Pull all the plastics off of here. Oh man, that's gonna be easy. Looks like there'll be all kinds of room for a Predator on there. Pull these handlebars off of here. So now let me pull this engine off of here. So we got mount it right there. A couple down here, and that's it. This looks pretty easy. So to get this engine on here, it looks like, I'm gonna have to run a, uh, a plate across here and lift it up maybe like an inch, just enough to get the torque converter off the plate. I have to cut this off to run these, weld them up underneath. So I might as well pull that engine back off of there and flip this frame over and weld all this stuff up. Got those brackets off of there. So now, I guess I can just weld these on there. Something like that. Kind of get them centered on there. Probably better to weld these two together. Kind of weld them together, then put them on there. Doing them in one piece. Nerf bar is welded up. Might as well weld them on there right there. So I got the nerf bars on there. They're on there good and good and solid. And the brake still works without hitting it. Without hitting the bar. So anyway, now let me put those uh Mount those motor mounts on there. So I have this engine plate and I welded up some uh, cross sections on it. So now all I have to do is set the engine on here, figure out where it's all lined up, and then um, go ahead and cut these sections off here. Got the engine sitting on there. And it looks like about right here. Cut this and then weld it back on here. Then we'll see if everything lines up once it's welded on there. Hopefully, we'll find out. Weld this on here, about right there. And hopefully everything will be in alignment. Throw that engine on here, see if everything lines up still, hopefully. Now that it's all welded on there, we'll hope it lines up. Alright, so I'm gonna have to raise the back of this engine up a little bit. I might be able to use this kit that Go Power Sports sent out when they sent out that bike, the Mega Motor 212. And this will raise the engine up just about enough, I think. So yeah, I think about an inch would be about right, actually. Put that engine up on there. Yeah, so it kind of lifts it up on there a lot better. Where it totally clears everything, and it might even help out with the chain. Because I might have to change out that sprocket for a bigger sprocket, possibly, if the chain hits the uh, swing arm. 
mount here. So we'll find out. So I got the engine bolted on there. It's just loose, but it's on there. And the chain goes down with the sprocket there. It barely clears the uh, swing arm mount there, but it'll hit here on the old motor mount. So nothing a grinder can't fix. Just chop that off right there. And then this part, I can fix this. Either raise the back of the engine up a little bit or put a bigger sprocket on there. That'll lift the chain up just a little bit and pull it off there. And I think that'll fix that problem. The sprockets don't line up, so I'm gonna have to drill the sprocket out. Got the 50 sprocket on there, so that should help it out. And maybe it'll be a little bit farther away from over here. So now I'm just gonna cut that mount off there. So that section there should be enough now for the chain to pass through. So we got the engine all bolted up and the sprocket on there so everything should line up. So now I'm going to try to do an exhaust on this thing. So I have this flange that I can bolt on here that clears everything. And then I have the stock exhaust, which is not going to be the most free flowing exhaust, but it'll get it running for right now. So I guess I can run it to the outside here and cut that piece and then turn that bend. So now I can hang this somewhere in here and then run that turn to the flange. So I made up a bracket that I can hook right there, maybe weld up right there. And that'll keep the pipe pretty tucked up to the front. So now I think I'm going to cut this a section out of it and bring this in a little closer just to tuck this a little bit better closer to the frame. That should be a lot better. So let me weld that up right there. So that's running a lot closer to the frame now. So that'll work. Let me get this little section here. I made up this piece to go from here to there. So let me weld that up. Tack this up here. So that looks like it'll do it. So I pull this whole thing off of here and weld it. So we got the exhaust on there. This thing is all tightened down. Who knows how it'll flow, but it's an exhaust. And I think it's tucked on there pretty good. So it's not gonna burn your leg. So now, throw this chain on here. So I got pretty much everything done, except for putting on the handlebars and the plastics. So the plastics will go on here, but I had to take off part of the plastic because of the Nerf bars are on there now. For the back, I'm gonna have to take off the, uh, pull the battery tray out of there for the back one to fit it hits the head on the motor or the engine. So, um, there's 10 snips, so it should cut pretty easy. All right, so that looks better. So it'll set down on there at least. 
All right, so there you go. We'll sit down on there. That'll work. And the seat looks like it'll fit on there. This everything looks like it fits on this side. So pretty much got it. Now I just gotta throw the handlebars back on here and hook up the um, throttle and kill switch. I think we'll be good. And I think that's pretty much it. Throw the seat on it. Throw this thumb throttle on here, which is cool because it already has a, a throttle. And I think the cable might be long enough. So that might work. That'll be nice. See if this cable will work on this carb here. Looks like it just might have enough. So we'll see. So one cool thing about it, it already has a tip because it already had a Makuni style carburetor on it. So maybe that'll work on this. I think it might. That'll work. All right, let's see if we got throttle here. Oh, cool. Works perfect. So I'm gonna use a stock kill switch too. So, so let's try to find the uh, brown and black wire. And I'll use those for the kill switch. Get the fuel line hooked up. The, um, Throttle cable hooked up, kill switch. So I think that's about it. I think the only thing to do now is go test it out. Yeah, this thing's got plenty of torque with that Predator on there to get you up these hills.
definitely a cool swap. Has a lot more power than the 110 that was on there, even with the restrictive exhaust or the stock exhaust that was actually on the 110. And I'm glad I went with that 50 sprocket on the back to pull those hills. It has plenty of power. It's nice not having to shift gears when you're going up the hills and stuff.